This video covers connecting to Zoom and the Classroom Projector using Synapp for instruction to in-classroom and online students using the hybrid synchronous simulcast teaching model or the hybrid rotating face-to-face -face model. We'll cover several methods for displaying content with the Synapp presentation system to both in-classroom and online students, including launching Zoom on Synapp, connecting wirelessly to Synapp with your laptop, and connecting the document camera to Synapp. You may also be interested in learning how to use the Synapp onboard web browser to display content, to display Office 365 content, or to display the online whiteboard. Information on these options can be located at classrooms.utk.edu. After you have sanitized your equipment and area, consider the goals for preparing your teaching environment. Key goals to target include Achieving adequate audio quality and volume for transmission to both online and in-classroom students and for the quality of your class session recording. Understanding the learning experience for both online and in-classroom students. And successfully displaying the desired content to both in-classroom and online students. Classrooms on campus may have different control panels to connect to the projector and the Synapp system. Your control panel may look slightly different from the panel shown here, but the operational functions will be the same. To view the specific control panel for your classroom, go to classrooms.utk.edu. Launching Zoom on Synapp. Tap the control panel and choose System On. Under Input Select, choose Synapp. Now let's launch Zoom on the Synapp. Tap the Synapp background screen to display the plus sign, then select the plus sign. Choose WebRTC from the icons listed. Select Create or Edit Account to log into your Zoom account. Note that Synapp does not cache your credentials. This means that each time you log in, you will have to enter your NetID, password, and approve the two-factor authentication request. Select the meeting and choose Start. When prompted, choose Join from your browser. Then, select Join Audio by your computer. Connecting to Synapp wirelessly. To connect your laptop to Synapp wirelessly on a Windows machine, Tap the Windows and P keys to bring up the Project menu. Choose Connect to a wireless display. Choose the Sign app for your room. To connect wirelessly from a MacBook, select the AirPlay icon on your menu bar to see available devices. Select the Sign app for your room. If prompted for a code, enter the PIN code that appears at the top of the Synapp screen. Your laptop will appear on the Synapp screen. Showing the document camera on Synapp. To ensure that both in-class and online students can see what you are writing, we recommend using the document camera rather than the classroom whiteboard for annotations and spontaneous content. To display items from the document camera through the Synapp system to both online and in-classroom students, select Doc Cam on the control panel under the Synapp input menu. Note, if you do not see the input menu, select Synapp again. On the Synapp screen, tap the background to display the plus sign at the bottom of the screen. Then, select Synapp Input to add the document camera previously selected on the control panel. The Synapp Input option will be labeled as either HDMI or Input. Sharing Screens Ensure your Synapp is in mirror mode by tapping Mirror Mode on the control panel. This will mirror anything on your instructor podium to your students in the classroom. When you share, 
it will also immediately mirror to your students online. Tap the Zoom window on your SynApp and choose a new share. Your students online will now see your SynApp desktop. Now, tap the window you wish to focus on. This could be your laptop, document camera, or window. Tap the menu at the bottom of that window to expand it. You will see an Enlarge button. Tap the Enlarge button. This will enlarge your screen to take up the entire screen. To switch to a different window, tap the Enlarged window on the Synapse screen to open the bottom menu and choose the desired input you would like to switch to from the tabs on that menu. When finished, select Return to Main Page on the Control Panel. And finally, choose System Off to turn off the projector. For more tips on classroom technology, go to classrooms.utk.edu. For tips on the effective use of Zoom for hybrid instruction, refer to OIT's website at this link. If you would like to accomplish something not covered in these videos, contact the OIT Help Desk at 865 974 9900 or help.utk.edu and request a one on one consultation. Written instructions for this training are available at oit.utk.edu.